Hello everybody, good afternoon. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon, February 2, 2019. Game 75 of your ASEAN Basketball League season number 9. Rise to greatness and we are here inside the GSB Stadium 29 in Bangkok, Thailand for this matchup between a Mono Vampire Basketball Club right now at 2 and 12 going up against the Wolf Warriors. The visiting team who are at 2 and 14 right now. This is Martin Avier working alongside Mr. Sidov Tupa, CPT, for the first time for today's game. Hello, Sidov. Good to have you here in the coverage. Uh, it's great to work with you finally, Martin. And I'm pretty excited for this matchup between uh, Mono Vampire and the Wolf Warriors. Of course, Mono Vampire parading some new faces t today. And, uh, you know, the, the possibilities are just endless for this team following the acquisition of some new players. That's right, so the second first meeting between these two teams in three days, but let's uh, leave the discussion there first and let's now go to the team introduction Number here. Number seven, Ananti. Number seven, Maikan Sigurtari. Number 65, Tiro Wajan Tajan. Number 69, the wrong pan of Hero Will I Shy. Number 0, Tyler Lam. Number 33, No Pon San Tong. Number 36, So Rot Sun Tan Siri. Number 1, Mokom White. And number 11, Moset Morgan. Number 22, Frederick Jones. Last player, number 13, Shana Chon Glahan. And head coach, Mr. Madi Dutlard. And his team, Mono Vampire Basketball Club. All right, we go back to our pre-game discussion here. This is the ninth season of your ASEAN Basketball League. And as I mentioned earlier, these two teams met last Wednesday for the first time in Domen Gymnasium in Zhuhai, China. And it was a shootout, Sedov. 119-114 was the final score. And Wolf Warriors surviving the onslaught of Mono Vampire, especially in the fourth quarter. Well, Kai Chen and, of course, Mike Taylor combining in that big win. Kai Chen will be a man to watch. He had a double-double in that ball game 20 points 10 rebounds and six assists as he was uh, really hitting from all angles drew, drawing out malcolm white that time very instrumental to that victory and now he has a challenge in his hands not only because malcolm white is there yeah but uh, the, one of the new guys of uh, mono vampire will be in action as well in Romeo Travis. Romeo Travis, a big pickup for Mono Vampire. We will discuss him uh, in a bit. But Mike Taylor, you were mentioning him earlier. 39 points in their previous game. Had 27 in the first half. Did not score in the third quarter, but picked it up and got the big baskets as well for the Wolf Warriors to secure that win. Uh, coming up big down the stretch, Mike Taylor showing a knack of taking over games, really. And if you're the Wolf Warriors, you're a young team here. You're you're a newcomer and the learning curve is still there. Yeah. You want someone like Mike Taylor to really take charge when the going gets tough. And for Mono Vampire, on the other hand, this is a transition phase for them. They added Tyler Lamb to the lineup and he had his uh, first game against the Wolf Warriors last Wednesday. And it was a quite a stellar debut for Tyler Lamb. Almost a triple-double for him in that one. No, he's wasting no time uh, making an impact there, Tyler Lamb. Although it was a losing effort, but y you know, if with more games with Mono Vampire, uh, Tyler Lamb will will, right. will be will well combining with Mike Singletary will be a very big asset to them. Tyler Lamb already showing his impact for Mono Vampire. Mike Singletary though completing the triple double for uh, Mono Vampire 26, 11, and 12, and well he will have help today. Romeo well, Travis in the lineup, Malcolm White, Freddie Leash. Tyler Lamb, they're gonna be complete today against the Wolf Warriors, Adolf. And that's why we've been <laughs> we've been talking about <laughs> it pregame. We're very excited 
to call this game because uh, you know Michael White of course and Shantez Patterson will still be the matchup there Patterson with his probably his best game so far here in the in the CM Basketball League but you know Malcolm White he is going to do his job but you know the trump card here really for Mono Vampire is Romeo Travis he flew in just this morning mm -hmm. and uh, we will see where he is physically but we 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 saw this guy playing in the Philippines and we saw how good he is mm -hmm. even playing injured at some point and leading his team to victory that's right dropping 50 points uh not a long time ago uh was romeo travis and leading uh them to the championship i believe uh where he belonged there or the team actually won the championship uh back in the philippines but romeo travis will have his new chapter here with mono vampire as he uh, completes the starting lineup here for Mono. This is a loaded unit to begin with for Coach uh, Douglas Marty. When when you saw that starting lineup and uh, you you see it and you said you you, you got to ask yourself how is they, how are they gonna distribute that right. ball? Mm -hmm. And Freddie Lish, he has this big responsibility of getting everyone involved. And uh, you know, Jason Brickman ran the point for most of the season, most of the past two seasons. Yeah. For for Mono Vampire and you know th those are big shoes to fill for Freddie Lish. That's right. Jason Brickman was pretty much the heart and soul of this Mono Vampire team. The entire offense ran through him. Uh, whether it be, it be scoring, playmaking, Jason Brickman was in charge for Mono Vampire. So let's see how this new era for Coach Douglas Marty and the rest of the team from Thailand will go. And they will uh, look for a victory here at home. And they will try to make a playoff push because... Uh, at the end of the elimination round, again, only the top eight will advance, and these two teams right now are at the ninth and the tenth positions. Well, we talked to Coach Douglas Marty before uh, the game, and, and he's pretty optimistic of their chances now that they have Romeo Travis, now that they have Tyler Lamb. But right now, really, the priority for, for Coach uh, Doug Marty is really to establish chemistry right. among these players because, you know, at their best, this is as good as any, probably one of the best right. starting lineups in the league yeah, right now. That's true. On but paper, when yeah, you see it. Yeah, but unfortunately for them, they're languishing down the bottom in the standing, so they have some catching up to do mm -hmm. and would also need other results to go their way. That's right. And we saw that, that chemistry problem for them in their previous game against the Wolf Warriors. They committed 21 turnovers in that game. That resulted to a lot of points, easy points for the Wolf Warriors. And again, Mono Vampire was not able to fend off or overcome uh, the Wolf Warriors in that one, ending at 119 to 114. So here we go. Malcolm White and Mike Bell will go for the jump. First possession goes to the road team. Mike Taylor falling down right away. With Patterson recovering, missing the first shot. But Mike Bell right there for the putback. The first basket, Mike Bell clearing the glass immediately. Nobody boxing out Mike Bell there. And the Tyler Lamb acknowledging that he had to do his job there. Now, the Wolf Warriors have had problems with the big men of other teams, Sedef. Now, with the addition of Romeo Travis, how do you see this one playing out for the Wolf Warriors? Tonight? Well, they, Romeo Travis is a handful. Yeah. And he will be... You know, getting those offensive rebounds, they have to keep him off that, uh, off the glass, and that is not an easy task. And considering that uh, Romeo Travis is a wide-bodied, very hard-working big man, and uh, we'll see how they'll cope here. But Malcolm White just a threat underneath and unable to finish that. Coming off that 33-point outing, Malcolm White could not get that one to drop. Here's Mike Taylor attacking, kicking it out to Mike Bell, who misses his second shot off the game. So here is Malcolm White. He will go to Tyler Lamb again. The biggest question mark here is who will be the facilitator for Mono. That time it was Freddie Lee setting up Malcolm White. Well, it is going to be a point guard by committee if uh, Freddie Leash is on the bench. And uh, Mike Singletary, he's shown that he's capable of uh, doing some playmaking chores. Tyler Lamb as well. That's right. They actually alternated. He alternated with uh, Marcus Elliott last season. Uh, doing the point guard duties for Hong Kong Eastern. But that's a turnover for the Wolf Warriors. 8 and 48 remaining here in the ball game. And Freddie Lee is here bringing the ball down. Had a good game last Wednesday. 17 points and 8 times. And including 5 three pointers for him. Knocks down his first here. 
Uh, Freddie Leash stepping into that three. You can't afford to go under the pick when Freddie Leash is at the three-point line. And uh, that time he makes them pay. Mike Taylor getting bodied up here by Freddie Leash. A little bit more physical on defense is Leash. A side chain missing on the baseline jumper there. Lam uh, tried to go to Travis, but it was uh, broken up by Mike Bell. Now Mike Bell going all the way there to uh, like the hustle early in this ball game. But, you know, Romeo Travis, he will still... The thing about Romeo Travis is that you don't really need to design plays for him. He's that type of guy that you don't need to really pay close attention to in right. terms of getting him involved in offense because he will find a way. That's right. And he is very willing to help out whatever way he can uh, for this squad. As Mike Taylor attacks there, gets the basket, counted plus the foul. A strong move there from Mike Taylor. Putting that ball on the deck. Had a running start. And uh, really just overpowering the Mono defense there. And this Wolf Warriors team, they're coming off probably their best game of the season. Imagine Sadal, 15 out of 25 from three-point range. And if that team is shooting like that, that's, uh, that's a team that's very hard to defeat. Uh, absolutely. Uh, but, you know, the thing about that game is that Mono Vampire was in it yeah. up until uh, <laughs> the last few seconds in... Uh, Mike Taylor caught fire near the end, but the, they kept in step and they were not even complete. Romeo Travis was still not there. Mm -hmm. And you gotta admire as well the, the effort from Mono Vampire. That's right. They were actually down by double figures with about under five remaining. Romeo Travis missing his first shot here. And they came back, cut it down to two, but it was all Wolf Warriors since then. And this is another foul against Mono. Again, Mike Taylor forcing the issue early here, well, taking it to the defense of Mono Vampire. Now the Freddie Leash has to, uh, be a tough task of staying in front. Mike Taylor, few players in this game basketball league can stay in front of Mike Taylor with his quickness, agility, and athleticism. Averaging 25 points per game for the Wolf Warriors so far. And got drafted in the NBA legitimate NBA experience that he had there. So Mike Taylor, again, slowly showing his skill here in the league. And he knocks down both free throws, six to five lead now, seven and a half remaining here in the first quarter. They got Tyler Lamb giving it to the curling Singletary, back out to Lamb, who squares up for three, knocks it down. And what a way to uh, introduce your, reintroduce yourself to the five faithful, Tyler Lamb, former Heritage MVP. Right. And he was playing for Hong Kong East and he also won the championship that year. Uh, Singletary accelerates to the basket there, draws the foul in the process. And this is something that Mono can really exploit, that quick transition off a miss. And that is really up to Freddie Leash to really initiate that. And, uh, you know, if you get Singletary on the ball, at half court mm -hmm. and running full head of steam. Uh, the result will either be a foul or, or a fast break lip. And when you've got this lineup on the floor and you're playing that run and gun offense, good things are bound to happen for your team. Yeah, well, with this lineup, Mono Vampire can really exploit that. That's right. True. 10 to 6 start for the home squad. Over three minutes gone, Taylor fires. That is off to the left, back up to the loose ball, and it goes to Freddie Leash. Leash on the move now. Goes back out to Travis. Romeo, a close reverse on that one. That's a great move. That's a trademark Romeo Travis move. Doesn't really need a lot of lift on that one, but that's the, uh, the really soft touch. And Romeo Travis, you know, high school teammate of LeBron James. That's right, one of his best friends. And Mono Vampire getting the steal on the other end. Here is Singletary from straight away. That is going to be short. And the loose ball will go out. Wolf Warriors will have possession. On that occasion, you got to go back there a couple of plays before. Um, Freddie Leash was really, you know, surveying his options. You know, yeah. you, you know, there will be instances <laughs> that that will happen because, you know, he's got very capable scores True. all around the floor. 
Yeah, he's got to get just got to <laughs> pick the best one. He's got to pick one if you're Freddy Lee's. But Mono stealing the ball away again for the second time or second straight time there. Romeo Travis goes to the corner again. Lamb <laughs> open for three. Too strong single Terry hustling for that rebound. Mike slowing it down back out to Travis. They'll go to the post. <laughs> Stops it home. Oh wow. Terrific ball movement from Mono Vampire. You got a que question marks about chemistry? Look at that. All five players touching the basketball on the way to that monster jam from Malcolm White. And Malcolm White had a lot of those in their game last Wednesday as Mike Taylor. You see him here on the floor. Huge bump on the head there. Right, take a look at this move by White. Getting the contact, or by Taylor rather, getting the contact from Malcolm White. That hit in the, oh, that's a that's lump a there. Yeah, that's a huge bump on the forehead of Mike Taylor. Uh, nothing intentional there. That's right. well, really, White has just protecting the rim and protecting uh, a three-point play from happening there. But Mike Taylor at that time going straight to the elbow of Malcolm White. Mike Taylor goes to the free throw line though here. I think for the third time in this game. And that's one of his strengths. You know, he gets to the free throw line a lot and he converts a lot of points from that area. Well, my worry here for the Wolf Warriors is, and like the last game, and they were able to involve, involve some of their locals. Yeah. Right now, they're going just exclusively. Mike Taylor just going mm -hmm. on his own there, attacking and scoring. But you gotta get these locals involved because uh, you'll never know. They're, they're, gonna, gonna, they're gonna be needing them later on. That's right. Early on in that one or in that game, they had a lot of three pointers from their local players. Here's Taylor again, attacking, getting fouled. And that's another trip to the free throw line for Mike Taylor. Getting very, very aggressive. I think Lamb will be a better matchup with Taylor here. I think Freddie Lee will be uh, just having difficulty staying in front of Mike Taylor, but Tyler Lamb will get a breather as Aperon Villachai enters the game. So Darong Pan, Aperon Villachai, usually a defensive specialist for this mono team has it been a factor offensively uh this season for the team compared to last year when he was really a contributor I mean, Co coach doug marty really needs contributions from everyone right now you know the thing about the mono change the changes in the mono team is that it was so drastic yeah Right, and it shows you the, the urgency on the part of the organization to really turn things around. That's right. This is the official transition phase of Mono Vampire. First time they're fielding the new team in full strength. Oh, Leash with a dribble exhibition. And a foul will be called here against the Wolf Warriors. As much as I'd like the display of skills from uh, Freddie Leash, I thought he could have moved that ball quickly. Right right there but he got the personal foul against the wolf warriors and we're only halfway done here in the first quarter singletary attacking and scoring for mono now too easy there for singletary and that is the beauty of having romeo travis there another scoring threat because singletary can now just play off the ball yeah. and uh, move without the ball and, and, and get into good scoring positions and on the other end and these other players malcolm white Romeo Travis and even Freddie Leash can attract so much attention from the defense, allowing or opening things up for Mike Singletary. Here he is with a basketball. Florida does not drop. He gets his own miss. Singletary taking it strong. And that's another foul, I believe, against Tai Chen that time. Singletary getting all pumped up early in this ball game and getting aggressive there and drawing the foul. Five point early lead for Mono Vampire here in the first quarter, four and a half remaining.
Back to the action here inside the GSB Stadium 29 in Bangkok, Thailand. And you see there Mike Taylor getting iced on that bump on his forehead caused by the collision earlier with uh, Malcolm White. But sending out our birthday greetings to our COO of the ASEAN Basketball League, Jericho Iladan, celebrating his uh, birthday month this year. So I'm pretty sure every game is going to be a gift, a treat for our very own COO. Absolutely. Happy birthday, boss. And he's right here, actually, yeah. enjoying the action. He's been uh, traveling the past few days, was in Hong Kong midweek mm -hmm. for the game between uh, Hong Kong and Saigon. <laughs> There you go. I hope you are enjoying the action here. 18 to 11 start for Mono Vampire. Seven point lead. Mike Singletary converting on the two free throws. So they're putting Darong Pan Aperon Vilay Chai on Mike Taylor now. Forced to kick out. That is Shentu short on the three pointer. Here is Freddie Leash. Lobs it up to White. White with precision loses the basketball. And here is the Wolf Warriors. The Wolf Warriors rather in transition. Shentu with a cleanup. Chantour doing well there, playing the trailer in that situation as uh, Mike Bell missing a gimme. But if you're Mono, you gotta lessen those turnovers. Again, those are two easy points again for the Wolf Warriors. White on the kick out, Singletary fires. That is off to the side, Saitsen grabbing the rebound. Oh, Mike Singletary has struggled from beyond the arc in the past few games here. Even here on his home floor. That's right. Hasn't gotten fast starts in the past few games. Leash on the floater, it drops. Now the good thing about Freddie Leash is that he also has the ability to get buckets. Yeah. And that makes him a threat right there. The defense backing up on him, Freddie Leash will make it pay. He's a legitimate shot creator and speaking off. Mike Taylor knocking down the pull up J there. Well, Mike Taylor wasting no time getting the two points back. Quick answer coming from Mike Taylor there, and that's a little bit too close on the contact for Chris Shentu as he fouls Darung Pan Aperon Bilay Chai. So Shentu will be called for the personal here, and he will be replaced by Jenning Leung, the Chinese Canadian, one of the top local players here of the Wolf Warriors. And Wolf Warriors end the penalty already with under three minutes remaining in our first quarter. Darong Pan Aperon Vilay Chai, nicknamed Palm, as a twin brother, as a place here in Thailand. Actually, the twin brother going up here to the to our area. I saw him in the weights room. Actually, I was <laughs> like, he has a game, right? No, he's actually his twin brother. That's a brother. <laughs> Taylor attacking and scoring with the left hand. Wow, Mike Taylor weaving through traffic. He's finding a way. Oh, that should have been a goaltend there. Wow, that was a pull from under from Mike Bell. A basket interference. But no call. Jenning Leung going to Tsai Chen on the run and he will score for the Wolf Warriors. Tsai Chen. Double double the last time out, getting his first two points tonight. So the Wolf Warriors doing a great job in hanging around here in the first period. Malcolm White with position. Triple team doesn't matter, he scores. Malcolm White, when he's that deep in the paint, you could do just little to stop that man right there. Yeah. High low play for Mona Vampire that time. Here comes the Wolf Warriors. Jenning Leo goes to the corner. This is Yansu. Getting it off the foot of Mike Singletary there. So eight seconds to work with for the Wolf Warriors. A mono Vampire shows you their potential when everyone is on point and everyone is scoring. 23 points already with right. under two minutes remaining mm -hmm. in the first quarter. And on the other side, it's been the Mike Taylor show for the Wolf Warriors. Tai Chen unable to convert. Oh, good steal there. Good anticipation from Yang Su, but he gives the ball back to Mono Vampire. Malcolm White getting the steal. Single Terry. Oh, nice pass. Darong Pan up it on Belay Chai with a finish. A great play once again. Romeo Travis doing the making the right decision there to give it up to Single Terry, who does the rest and gives up gives it up to Peron Belay Chai for the final moment. And here's Mike Bell. Could not convert on the other end. 
Mona Vampire on the run. Free on two break. Malcolm White on the double clutch. No good. I don't think that was the right decision there with Michael White. He could have given that ball up to Singletary. Right. Let him run the break. Yeah, two other guys there in transition. White will make up for his mistake with that jam. Now that's more like it. From Mono Vampire. Romeo Travis leading the break. Singletary getting the assist to Malcolm White. That net is broken. <laughs> and Malcolm White again. Taking it strong to the basket. Looking to destroy the rim every time he goes. So Taylor fires and knocks it down. Oh, wow. Just incredible. Mike Taylor, hand in his face, hitting. This is yet another fast start for Mike Taylor. So 16 points already in the first quarter alone. 16 of the 22, Martin. Oh, my goodness. Leash on the pull-up. He answers right back for Mono. Leash right there working on that ball screen. So last shot time here for the Wolf Warriors. Tight chin with a hand in his face, knocking down the free for a pointer. And 29-25 at the end of the first quarter here. Sadov, another high-scoring affair between these two teams. Well, Wolf Warriors, you would have thought that they'd be awed by this strong and new look Mono Vampire team. No. Mike Taylor is leading the charge and they are within striking distance. 29-25 and we go into the break here when we return second quarter of this game. Second quarter almost underway, and we go back inside the GSP Stadium 29, right here in Bangkok, Thailand. Beautiful Saturday to everyone. Second of February here in 2019, the Wolf Warriors and the Mono Vampire meeting for the second time in about three days for these teams. And after the first quarter, it's 29 25 for Mono Vampire and for, for the Wolf Warriors, Sidov. Oh, you guys have Martin Avier, Sidov Tupas doing this game. And Sadov, it's been the Mike Taylor show. Well, absolutely. 16 points for Mike Taylor. All the rest have been, uh, you know, spectators. All his teammates, some right. of his teammates were just spectators. Patterson hasn't made an impact. 
But as for Mono Vampire, you know, if you look at the stat sheet, you gotta like what they're seeing. Six players already on the score sheet for right. them, led by Fred Leash, of course, and uh, Romeo Travis is you know, gotten his feet wet, and we will see how he'll, he'll adjust in this ball game because there will be times when he will be taking charge for this Mono Vampire team for sure. That's right. He will not be asked to score as much uh, for Mono Vampire, but he is willing to do the little things for them. Rumi Travis only scoring a basket earlier via a reverse layup early in the game. He's, uh, he has two points and four rebounds in the contest. And you see here, Danopan Apelong Vilay Chai talking to Mike Singletary, who has six markers after the first quarter. A little bit of everything as well for Mike. Six points, three rebounds, and three assists. But we haven't seen that man earlier on the right. Moses Morgan has yet to come in in this game. Now the thing about this Mono Vampire, new look Mono Vampire team, I think with Romeo Travis coming in, uh, it gives them a lot of flexibility. Like if they want to go quick, right. they can put Romeo Travis on the five mm -hmm. and uh, put in Moses Morgan perhaps or... Or the, or the combination of Lamb, Singletary, Morgan, Travis, and Leash. And but if they also want to play you know, deliberate style of play, they want to set up their, their half-court offense, and they want to get the big man involved, want to dump it down low, and also play with, with, with Malcolm White. So a lot of flexibility right. and depth in this lineup right now, Coach Doug Marty. So, you know, it, as soon as this Mono Vampire team plays to get learns how to play together mm -hmm. as a one strong cohesive unit. Oh man, bet the rest of the league better be watching out. And I also feel like one of the major problems early in the season for Mono Vampire, which is the Finn front line they initially had, uh, is addressed by the signing of uh, tr uh, Romeo Travis. So they're gonna be deep in that position with Tirawat Chanta Chon coming off the bench for them. Alongside Sang Tong as well. Uh, Janta Chuan would usually start for some, some, for some, uh, some uh, games during the season. Uh, it's, been, it's been a case of trial and error for Mono Vampire, really, right. especially with uh, the new rules that we have three world imports allowed and mm -hmm. uh, no heritage imports anymore. That's right. And the two teams really got affected by that rule, I think, on. On Hong the Kong. flip side, Hong Kong and, and Mono Vampire. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the teams that have exploited that rule to the hilt that has really helped them is uh, the Saigon Heat. That's right. They got the uh, VBA local guys, the Vietnamese Americans, to join the team as Travis knocks down his second bucket of the game. Well, Romeo Travis right there showing us the range. And good thing the net has been uh, fixed <laughs> on that side. So Romeo Travis getting on board here in the second quarter. The kick out here, Jenning Leon could not convert. And Tai Chen will be called for the foul on the rebound play there. As he was trying to grab the rebound from Mike Singletary. Now Mike Singletary, I'm, I'm pretty sure that when he learned about Romeo Travis was getting on board as well as Tyler Lamb, I'm pretty sure he's <laughs> one of the happiest guys right. around. <laughs> Because that puts a lot of pressure off him. Yeah, absolutely. On both ends, yeah, really. Because right. uh, Mike has to do uh, double duty, especially on the other side of the ball. Yeah. Because he has to play the four. He usually guards the best players of the other team as we see that. Oh. Here, and the facial from Malcolm White. Well, he puts Patterson on a poster there. And here's a steal from Travis. Travis the leash. Oh, they go to Singletary. And you see the potential of the what this Mono Vampire team can do. Just so much talent and skill on this team right now. And they're starting to get their groove in this game. They begin the second quarter with a couple of baskets. Singletary on the breakaway again. What a start for Mono Vampire here in our second quarter. A double-digit advantage open up by the home squad. We got a timeout on the floor.
back to the action here. This is season number nine of your ASEAN Basketball League. And Sadov, it seems like Mono Vampire only needed one quarter to gel uh, in this game. Starting off the second frame on an eight to nothing run and building a double digit advantage here. It's 37 to 25 early in the second quarter. A lot of ball pressure and uh, combine that with uh, the Wolf Warriors getting sloppy mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it's a 12 point lead and for Mike, Mono Vampire. Empty possession there for the Wolf Warriors. We've got Romeo Travis now handling the basketball deflected out of bounds by Mike Bell. We've got a lot of time to work with here. A good start to the second frame for Mono and they're showing flashes of uh, the potential of this team, Sadel. 11 assists from 15 field goals for Mono Vampire. Mm -hmm. you talk about chemistry, building chemistry. And you talk about players getting unselfish, and that's what we're seeing right now from this team. That's right. Uh, this is a turnover, though, for Mono. Ball will go back to the Wolf Warriors. Coach Douglas Morty has had a lot of thinking uh, to do here with this lineup, but so far, so good in this game and it's not an easy task martin getting a star-studded squad that right. hasn't even you know has barely played together mm -hmm. and i thought earlier i was there with the first time he met <laughs> romeo travis i think <laughs> yeah romeo travis again only arrived this morning as we see there mike taylor dropping the free pointer and mike taylor with a lot of words after hitting the shot. He's got 19 right now. Malcolm White carving space down there. He is unable to score with the left hand. Here comes Taylor again on the move. Well, Warriors moving the basketball around. Patterson could not finish. And White simply getting the rebound there. And White just standing his ground there. Single Terry. Goes back out, Freddie Lee. Oh, Malcolm White <laughs> lost his defender down low and stuffs it home again. Too easy for Mono Vampire and Malcolm White right here. Getting in another good position. He's been getting a lot of touches down low. And that's a miss from the Wolf Warriors again. Single carry attacking. Oh, no good. That rolls out, but that don't pan up in Ompilai Chai. Hustling for that basketball, getting the second opportunity for Mono. Here is Fred Leash. He's got the quickness advantage. Good bounce pass there to Singletary. Now Freddy Leash. The quickness and the agility on display there. Singletary with the finish. But Freddy Leash, credit to him. Hasn't taken a breather in his ball game. He's played the entire first half so far. He's up to this point, but Leash missing there. Yeah, some signs of fatigue there on that shot. But Left it really, really short. But we're seeing beautiful, unselfish basketball so far for Mono Vampire. Unleashing their weapons in the first half as Mike Taylor. That is going to be stripped by Freddie Leash. And three guys off the bench for Mono Vampire. A much needed breather here for Freddie Leash. He will go out alongside Romeo Travis and Aperon Vilay Chai. You got all ball there. Freddie Leash. Mike Taylor asking for a foul. So Moses Morgan checks in for the first time here as Patterson knocks in the J. And Patterson very quiet outing so far, hitting the three. Really did not hesitate taking that shot. Yeah. He had daylight. On that attempt, Tyler Lamb attacks. Could not convert with the left hand. That's Mike Bell ripping it out. Oh, Liu losing the basketball there. Oh, the pass was too strong for Yu. Before he's committing the turnover, that will give another opportunity here for Mono Vampire. And this time, it's going to be Tyler Lamb doing the point guard duties for them. Single Terry. Oh, ball stripped. Taylor on the move ahead of the pack. Taylor will rise and score. Well, ever since he came in, Mike Taylor has given this Wolf Warriors team a lift on both ends of the yeah. floor. 
Hitting a three earlier and now finishing the break off that turnover for Mono Vampire. Lead is down to single digits. to the action here in GSP Stadium 29 in Bangkok, Thailand, home court of Mono Vampire going up against the Wolf Warriors today. And it is an eight point advantage earlier. It was a breakaway layup for Mike Taylor who eclipses 20 points here in the first half for the second straight game. And he's been carrying the scoring load. And that's, uh, that's an understatement actually, Sadov. He's been doing it all for the Wolf Warriors on both ends of the floor and most especially in scoring with 21 points out of the 33 so far of the visiting squad. Absolutely, but you know, if you're, if you're one of Vampire, I think they're happy they're allowing uh, Mike Taylor to score that many. As long as all the other players are not involved, as Tyler Lamb off that curl, that's a trademark shot, Tyler Lamb. He's done that so many times when he was playing for Hong Kong. That's right, and you expect more open looks for Tyler Lamb here with the loaded, or loaded lineup that they have right now. Here's Liu, open three-pointer from the top of the key, does not work. Singletary goes to Morgan. The cross-court pass to Singletary again. That is too strong from deep. And Mike Taylor getting it from Malcolm White there. Wolf Warriors on the attack, Patterson attacking the double team. And that's gonna be a foul against Tirawa Chantachon. Oh, that's more like it from Patterson. Really not hesitating. In fact, challenging the defense of this uh, Mono Vampire team. He needs to help and, and ease the burden on uh, Mike Taylor on the offensive end here. That's right. And Santez Patterson, standing about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, replaced Eddie Curry uh, midway through the season for the Wolf Warriors. He was recommended by the dad of Kobe Bryant, Joe Jellybean Bryant, to the Wolf Warriors. And so far, he's only been showing a surface of his potential here in the few games he's played. And here's Romeo Travis checking back in, replacing uh, Malcolm White. This is the versatility uh, you were talking about earlier, Sudelf. Now, Romeo Travis will play center for Mona. It's not gonna be a problem for Romeo Travis, but here he is. <laughs> Out to the three-point line. Might have jinxed that one, though. I don't think <laughs> that was his best shot right there. <laughs> and a foul on the other end. Wolf Warriors will go to the line. And we are seeing a more aggressive Shantas Patterson. Oh, this is only a sideline inbound for the Wolf Warriors. Yeah, you see the length here. They may have lost Malcolm White, but look at the length mm -hmm. of this uh, Mono Vampire team. Moses Morgan in the backcourt with Tyler Lamb. Right. Smallest guy on the floor for them is Tyler Lamb, who stands about 6'4 or 6'5. They've got Mike Taylor there on the double clutch, no good. Uh, Mike Bell stuffing it home on the putback. Oh, Mike Bell cleaning up the miss there. Right place at the right time. And flexing his muscles for the Wolf Warriors here. Singletary speaking off, takes it strong, passing it to no one. And a turnover for Mono. And this opens the door for the Wolf Warriors to come back in this one, under four remaining in the first half. So again, we're, we're, we're seeing what, what can happen for Mono yeah. if they don't have a point guard on the floor. Mm -hmm. Freddie Leash leaves the ball game, and then all of a sudden, Mono Vampire's offense you know, seems, to be, there seems to be some confusion on who they want to go to, and now 
Coach Doug Marty recognizing that problem and sending in a pretty leash. I was on cue, Sudolf. That's right. There's a lack of stability on offense for Mono when Freddy Leash is not on the floor. It's Romeo Travis, the kick out to Leash. Chantachon, the baseline jumper. He squares up, no good. You know, that's a tough shot, Martin. Always a difficult one when you're in that uh, mid post area near the, the baseline as uh, Tsai Chen there. Tsai Chen knocking in the three pointer and the lead is down to four points. It was once a 13 point advantage earlier. This is a 12 to 3 run by the Wolf Warriors. Travis dropping it off. Chanta Chun could not finish from point blank range. Well, Travis, Chanta Chun was in a better position there, but look at this here. Oh. Mike Taylor cleaning the lid off the rim there. No good on the shot. Morgan, they go back out. Tyler Lamb for three. With daylight in and out. Travis. Tapping it to the wrong guy. Here is Mike Taylor for the Wolf Warriors. An opportunity to make it a one possession game and Mike Bell converts. Wow. The guy to admire the resiliency of the Wolf Warriors. One of Vampire was on the verge of ripping this game wide open. That's right. And Mike Taylor heats up with a couple of baskets and all of a sudden the rest of the Wolf Warriors getting much needed confidence with their shots they're knocking them down and now they are within two Back to the coverage here and the double digit advantage one sell by the Mono Vampire Basketball Club has vanished here in the first half. It's down to two points with a furious comeback of the Wolf, uh, of the Wolf Warriors here in the second frame. Well, all started when some of the starters of the Mono Vampire went to the bench. This time they're back. Freddy Leach is back. Malcolm White is back as well, but Romeo yeah. Travis committing the turnover. That's not a good turnover for Mono Vampire. An opportunity for the Wolf Warriors to tie or take the lead with a three-pointer. Good drop off inside. That's a basket for Mike Bell plus the bonus. Wow, what a play there from Tsai Chen. Thought he was going nowhere with that shot. And at the final moment, dropping it off to Mike Bell, who finishes, stays strong, yeah. and finishes at the rim for a pass possible and one. We're all tied at 44, but Bell can give Wolf Warriors the No, he doesn't. But they tie the basketball game here, 44 all. It is a 16 to three run for the Wolf Warriors. Leash could not convert on the floater. Taylor ripping out the rebound. He is on the move, he goes to Patterson. The scoop, no hoop, but he will have an opportunity at the free throw line to make damage. Well, Patterson, this time Mike Taylor Getting a, making a conscious effort to really get his teammates involved, especially in transition now. Really doesn't need to go at it by his lonesome. And Mike Singletary was very instrumental on that run of uh, Mono Vampire earlier in establishing this big lead earlier. A development here for Mono Vampire. That was the third personal foul on Tyler Lamb. So he is forced to go to the bench, replaced by Mike Singletary. Peggy Leash will bring the ball down, and the Wolf Warriors will grab the one point lead. Travis taking it strong. Romeo Travis flexing his muscles there for the basket and the bonus. Uh, it's about time. Romeo Travis shows everyone what he's made of. Look at this move. 
hesitation move, going down the middle, absorbing the contact, and getting enough strength to get the basket. Travis overpowering everyone there. And Travis again just arrived this morning, hasn't practiced with the team. So you can just imagine what the, he is going through right now mentally in the game. Oh, those are some tired legs. Right. Martin. And you add jet lag to that. Yeah, it's not easy. But Travis is pushing here. Single Terry recovering. Single Terry putting that one up, and he is fired up here for Mono. I gotta like the tenacity for Mike Singletary. Thought he had lost the ball. Everyone thought that it was a, another lost possession for Mono Vampire, but Singletary hustling and getting rewarded with two free throws here. And two free throws will be taken after this break. One point lead by the home squad. to the ball game here and again it is a down to a one point advantage for Mono Vampire they briefly uh, took the lead earlier 45-44 before the basket from Mono Vampire and they're actually doing very well here uh, the Wolf talking about the Wolf Warriors for the second straight game yeah, because there was a lot of talk there was a lot of hype with the debut game today of Romeo Travis Wolf Warriors holding their ground on the road here in Thailand well you gotta you got, uh, admire the work here from the Wolf Warriors, Mike Taylor especially. I think that big win at midweek mm. over Mono Vampire has really helped a great deal to their confidence coming here that they can, you know, handle this Mono Vampire team. I think even you know, even with Mike Singletary's eye-popping numbers last, yeah. last game, and even Tyler Lamb's explosion the last game, they felt they can, you know, work, work their way around that and then you know, steal the game in the end, and that is what they're doing right now. They're just hanging around. That's right. And uh, Mono Vampire struggling to shake them off. That's right. Wolf Warriors actually showed maturity, composure in that game, fending off a lot of comeback attempts for Mono Vampire, one of the most potent teams offensively in the league. And that's the root of the confidence they have right now going into this matchup. And it is a down, or it is a two-point game rather here. Single Terry making his way. Travis, the extra pass to Leash. Corner triple is off. That is way off for Leash. Mike Rome, Taylor. Romeo Travis tried to position himself. Offensive rebound, but what about that shot? Both Warriors were gaining the lead. Remember, they had 15 three-pointers last Wednesday. This team can shoot. Here is Morgan, fires, tries to answer. Too strong, single Terry. Getting them another crack at the basket here. A fresh 14 on their shot clock. Single Terry looking for the screen. White gives it. Single Terry on the blow by, but a foul is called here. Well, this is the danger. Uh, you know, and you're confident that you can take players one-on-one. -on -one. They'll have the tendency to really hold on to that ball for too long a and sometimes you give it up late so late in the shot clock that really it's difficult to create another shot off that so you know one of vampire has to go back to what they were doing best earlier moving that ball around right single terry scoring on the pull-up jumper there that's a three-pointer for mike i think he heard us <laughs> uh, mike single terry on target 
So he gives the lead back to Mono. He has 16 points in the ball game. Last shot time here. Mike Taylor answers right back with a free of his own. What a half of basketball here. We've been treated to some incredible shooting from both ends. Both teams showing us. Mike Singletary. Yeah. I was just about to say how, how, how <laughs> much I admired his stroke. But on the other side, Mike Taylor, Mike Taylor with a double clutch as well, making the adjustment while he was in the air, knocking down the three to beat the buzzer. My goodness, 101 points in total on the board and we are just in the first half. We're at halftime here. Uh, one point lead for the Wolf Warriors, a furious uh, end to the second quarter for them to grab the one point advantage going into halftime here. Back to the action here. Welcome back to our coverage. 
This is your RCN Basketball League season number nine and second half is almost underway here inside the GSB Stadium 29 in Bangkok, Thailand. This is the battle between Mono Vampire and the Wolf Warriors. Thank you so much for joining us here in the coverage. My name is Martin Avier working alongside Sidelf Tupas for this game. And you see the quarter scoring here, Sidelf. Uh, between these two teams 101 points on the board and the Wolf Warriors surging late uh, in that second frame to grab the one point advantage going into the second half well big quarter there for the Wolf Warriors I think they were pretty steady in the first half uh, surviving the early onslaught from Mono Vampire uh, we saw you know Romeo Travis you know getting you know getting a hang of things here in the MP in the in the ABL, they're trying to get him involved, yeah. and and it's really about time for for Romeo Travis to you know get the touches that he needs to to really get his rhythm. Yeah. Because in the second half, you know, as as you know, as the defense tightens up, especially with Mike Singletary is is tried to you know do it all for Mono Vampire. Uh, I think Romeo Travis is about time to really for him to take charge as well. And Tyler Lamb hasn't. You know, performed as expected yet for yet. Mono Vampire, but you gotta give credit to this team. Wolf Warriors, a great stand in that first half, and uh, you would have expected that uh, they would, you know, they would find difficulty playing against this new look Mono Vampire team. But Mike Taylor has uh, epitomized the confidence of this team taking three pointers right in the face of his <laughs> defenders <laughs> and making them. Right. The surprising three-pointers for Mike Taylor. He led the way, uh, as usual, for the Wolf Warriors with 24 points. But slowly but surely, in the second quarter especially, the other players like Shontas Patterson, Sai Chen, Mike Bell started contributing in the scoring category for the Wolf Warriors that enabled them, again, to overtake Mono Vampire here in this game. No, that's true. And you know what, Martin? This is something that I've observed over the course of the ABL season some teams will really you know have to go through some sort of adversity especially when the lineup changes and mm -hmm. you know I didn't expect Mono Vampire to struggle that much with their new players now with their newfound depth but I, I, I think they didn't do a pretty good job as soon as they switched things up when Freddie Leash went to the bench Malcolm White went to the bench. I think it's a matter of, you know, because of this deep bench, the expectation now is that you keep that level of play okay. even with key guys on the bench. And that is going to be a test for this Mono Vampire team. As soon as they figure that out, I think they're going to be fine. They're going to make the playoffs here. And early in the ball game, they were actually moving the ball very well. Uh, in the first quarter, early in the second quarter, but they started to go for that ISO ball at the end of the second quarter that pretty much uh, given up their lead, their once 13 point lead vanishing and now they're trailed by a point. Here's Malcolm White carving space down low, doesn't get it, he gets his own rebound and the put back is good. That's pretty good spacing there from Mono Vampire. They were able to isolate Malcolm White on that weak side and he was able to do the rest there. Malcolm White just unstoppable. 14 points in the ball game for White. Here is Patterson, no good on the pull-up jumper. That was a tough jump shot with the defender right in his face. Here's Singletary, ton of basket. That's good. Yeah, Mike Singletary, this is how they were able to establish that lead on the first half, getting points in transition yes. or in the secondary break when the defense has yet to been uh, has yet to set up for yeah. Wolf Warriors and that is down to really to Freddie Leash and Mike Singletary to lead that charge. And this fast pace has been working wonders for Mono Vampire here as the Wolf Warriors misses the shot. Singletary. He is on the move here. He has got Patterson. He goes back out to Abram Vilay Chai who gets the bump and the foul against Liu. I thought Abram Vilay Chai took a lot of time <laughs> thinking of what he was going to do. Right. He could have easily taken a shot and nobody would have complained from that corner. That's right. That was an open look with Liu late on the closeout there. It's 54-51. Singletary attacking again. Yeah! Taking it himself. Oh, Mike Singletary, that is so much better because 
the spacing is so much better in that situation. Mm -hmm. And the offensive foul called on the other end against the Wolf Warriors. Well, it was Mike Taylor. Uh, look, take, looks like that lump is already is smaller than <laughs> what it was it subsided a lot yeah. earlier. But look at that. He was trying to trip a Peron Vilaychai. And that was a good call by the referees. Yeah. Good catch there. So Mono Vampire scoring six straight points to begin the third quarter here. And they now lead it by five. Malcolm White loses the basketball. Single Terry recovers. They got a lot of time to work with here. 12 seconds to shoot. The cross court pass to Travis. Travis turns around, lobs it up to White. And an open dunk for Malcolm White. Malcolm White doing a pretty good job avoiding the three second violation there. So here's the quick start again from Mono Siddhal to open the quarter as Mike Bell answers. But the Wolf Warriors again doing a pretty good job spacing the floor and allowing Mike Bell to operate. And they go on the high-low play again there for Malcolm White. A foul against Tai Chen. 7-37 remaining here in the third quarter. 8-2 to two start for Mono Vampire and this is Sun He Feng entering the game for the green shirts. Tai Chen will go to the bench here. Fred wow. Denise blowing by Mike Bell. Here's the kick out. Palm up and up and I knocks it down. Again, Freddie Leash creating. Romeo Travis being unselfish. There will be a time when uh, Romeo Travis will take it on his own there, but that time he was uh, he's been, uh, rewarding Aparon Vilaychaya for getting himself free on that corner. He's actually been facilitating very well for Mono. Already six assists. Leash unleashes. No good. Rebound goes to White. White goes to Travis. Travis goes back out to Singletary, who loses it momentarily. Travis goes inside. Malcolm White cannot finish with the left hand. That was great offense, though, for Mono Vampire. The reason why they got the defensive rebound because they took a great shot. But speaking... <laughs> wow. Patterson switching in midair. That was a scoop and a hoop for Tess Patterson. And it's been Mike Bell and Tess Patterson. That tandem has kept uh, the Wolf Warriors here in the third quarter. And that's a foul against the visiting squad. I, get, I believe against Sun He Feng. Romeo Travis there getting the ball on uh, high post area. It's pretty tough to stop there. So here is Romeo Travis from the University of Akron, a good fan of LeBron James. And of course, last stint in the Philippines where he won a championship. A very crafty lefty player that can do a little bit of everything on the floor. He's a journeyman, Romeo Travis. Played in Europe. And in different parts of Asia. And he's finding himself in the ASEAN Basketball League. And that's a foul against him on the other end, on the attacking, or fouling the attacking Mike Bell there. A foul on Travis. Well, Warriors will have possession here. Coach Matt Skillman on your screen. This will only be a sideline inbound for the visiting squad. One of Vampire not yet in the penalty. We got Mike Taylor kicking it in. Taylor, oh. Going off the back there, Taylor had to adjust, makes it anyway. What a play by Mike Taylor. And he gives the official the look. <laughs> but incredible move, Mike Taylor. And again, the Wolf Warriors are within two. Travis from the free throw line, that is short. Here's Taylor on the move. Mike, oh, he was off his foot. Soon Heffing, or Leo rather, recovers the basketball and a foul called against Aperon Vilay Chai. Mike Taylor. Skill level of this guy. Just incredible. Aperon Vilay Chai denying him 
the basketball. I see a smaller Jamal Crawford. <laughs> uh, Absolutely. Taylor, right? Like a Lou Williams, Jamal Crawford right. mold type of player. But those are good comparisons. If you're Mike Taylor as Mike Bell, straight line to the basket there. And this is something Mono Vampire has been struggling to deal with. The layups, the, the straight line drives. I think they're not doing a good job defensively right. today. Those are easy baskets here for the big guns of the Wolf Warriors. Here's the double team on White. Not passing, choosing to take the shot and misses. So here that comes good, Mike that, Taylor again. Good decision there from Malcolm White. I thought they could have moved that ball. And Quickly. on the other end, Sedelf, this will be the fourth personal on Tyler Lamb, who just entered the ball game here in the third. Well, Coach Doug Marty has, to, has a decision to make here with Tyler Lamb already with four fouls. And, and the thing is, the fouls of Tyler Lamb are, you know, are, are, are mini minimal contact, right. really. So, hard, hard fouls. Oh, there you go. Absolutely. And that has been a non factor here for Mono Vapor. He's been the missing link as White gets the seal and the score inside. Not much Taylor can do there against Malcolm White inside. So a brief recovery here for Mono Vampire as Taylor stops, shoots, could not score back rims that one. Single Terry with the basketball, a chance to create a more comfortable cushion here for Mono. Darung Pan moves closer, blows by his defender, takes the contact in the hoop. Wow, great move there by Aparon Vilaychai, shrugging off Taylor and later finishing over Bell. Well, Warriors were actually looking for the offensive foul on Palm, but it was not given. 65-61. A oh, basket inside for Sun. Wolf Warriors continues to execute on the offensive end. And a foul here on the bump also on Sun Hefeng. Feng. We'll credit that again to Taylor. The reason why the Wolf Warriors are executing impressively here in this ball game. They, 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 they are trading baskets against this Mono Vampire team. Mm -hmm. and, and for Coach Matt Skillman, he's okay with that and probably just keep it the game close and probably snatch the win in the end. And it's a two-point game going into this timeout. Back to the action here inside the GSB Stadium 29. You see the numbers here for the main man of the Wolf Warriors. Mike Taylor, again, doing a bit of everything for the team. Scoring big. 26 points already for Taylor. 24 in the second half alone. Or first half, rather, alone. And Wolf Warriors hanging around here. Only down by 2 points, 65 to 63. An interesting gamble here, Siddell, for Coach Douglas Marty. Tyler Lamb still on the floor with those uh, four personal fouls, but that could change after this trip. Well, Tyler Lamb is a, a proven scorer at this level. And you always have to think about the good that he can bring. Mm -hmm. If you know, if you're thinking about taking him out of the ball game, I think he, they badly need his offense here. Yeah. They need a third guy really to contribute. Uh, Romeo Travis is still feeling his way into this team, but for Tyler Lamb, you, you'd really need him to to make an impact with his outside shooting. But 
He's back on the bench. Yeah, he'll be taken out here. And Coach Douglas will gamble no more. 66-63, Mike Singletary guarding Patterson. 14 seconds to work with for the green shirts. You got Mike Bell here getting checked by White. Back to Patterson. Patterson on the step back. That is too strong, draws there. Travis retrieves the basketball. Romeo, shuffle pass to Adam Brown Vilay Chai for the finish. A oh, great show of strength there for Aparam Vilay Chai. He's got seven points all coming here in the third. And the answer on the other end, that was Mike Taylor with a three pointer. Oh, stand corrected there. Aparam Vilay Chai hitting a three earlier as well. So it's, he's got 10 yeah. already. Seven coming here in the in the third. Double digits now in scoring for Aperon Vilay Chai. Here is single Terry. He is on the move. The kick out. Pump. Patient move. Moves closer. Cannot score. Chantachon getting active inside. He gets the offensive rebound. Romeo Travis now. Single Terry fakes it. Good defense being played here by the Wolf Warriors. Knock him white. Will go strong to the basket there. Getting the foul in the process as well. Now they're getting their shots, Mono Vampire. It's just a matter of hitting them right now. If you take a look at that move, Aparam Vilaychai got the shot that he wanted from that corner area, but he, he drew, drew closer. And for Malcolm White, he's, he's, he's missed a lot of uh, shots inside. Yeah. You gotta make those. And White at the free throw line again. Aparam Vilaychai has been hesitant to uh, shoot that corner three pointer. That was his bread and butter last season when they went all the way to the finals. I, th I think he needs to, to take that shot. He, he doesn't need to hesitate. I think with the way they, they're set up right now, he's yeah. got very capable offensive rebounders there. Not, and, and that's why Romeo Travis is there, Malcolm White is there for you not to worry about missing. That's right, the shots. Because you got a lot of players here that could pick up and clean up the mess. And you see here Patterson making his way to the basket, making it a one-point game as well. It's been a problem here for Mono Vampire as they take a look at Patterson now on double figures. But staying in front, the drive, the drive of the Wolf Warriors, they, they're really struggling to deal with those drives as Travis gets to the lane. And tying his shoe as he went down. Thought he was holding on to his left ankle. But nope, he's just tying his shoe here. 69, 68. You were talking about how the world imports, Mike Bell, Shantas Patterson, and Mike Taylor has been annihilating, dissecting the defense of the Mono Vampire here. Just easing their way to the basket every time they get, or every opportunity they get. And, and that's down to Mono Vampire really adjusting. And you know, when, when you give up so many layups, I think you have a problem. Right. And every time that Patterson puts that ball on the deck, he looks likely to create, either create or score yeah. on a layup. Same thing with Taylor. And uh, Bell is just hanging around that area. I think they, they, they need to protect the rim better here. One of Vampire, if they want to come away with this victory because Wolf Warriors are just really executing pretty well offensively. They gotta make it hard for them. Wolf Warriors shooting 48% so far. Here's Taylor getting the basketball back, bothered by White. That is so much better. Clogging the lane yeah. right there was Malcolm White. Single Terry attacking. Kicking it out, Travis does not shoot the free, goes to the free throw line instead. White hustling for the rebound. Malcolm White. It's lost out of bounds, but it will remain with Mono with 11 seconds to work with. Yeah, I like the hustle there from Malcolm White. It was all alone underneath to battle the other giants of the Wolf Warriors yeah. for the offensive rebound, but uh, Mike Taylor can't afford to put that ball down because Mike Taylor is going to strip you there. Oh, inbounds play there. Chanta Chon getting away with it. And this is the ideal scenario for Coach Doug Martin. Too much attention on his imports. Locals. But again, the three-point shooting for the Wolf Warriors here. 
will continue to keep them in this game. It's down to two again. That is you, I believe, with a three-pointer. Single Terry fires. Tries to answer, no good. Long rebound goes to Chantachon. Here's Travis, puts it on the deck. They go back out. Apiron gonna try from straight away. Off to the right, Chantachon, second offensive rebound here for Mono. Single Terry from the corner. Empty trip for Mono Vampire. Wow. Seems to be a lid on the rim there in the part of Mono Vampire. But Taylor, my oh. goodness. Doing everything here for the Wolf Warriors, but Singletary gets the foul on the other end. Mike Taylor now has 31 big points. And more importantly, he ties the ball game here in the third quarter at 73 apiece with a half minute remaining. But Mike Singletary will head to the free throw line. He's got 20 points across his name. Tess Patterson going to the bench here. Single Terry, 20 points so far in this ball game, but one guy who's quietly put up a very solid stat line is the newcomer, Romeo Travis. Eight points, 11 rebounds, and nine wow. assists. Closing in on that triple double in his first game in the SCN Basketball League. So Mike Single Terry also four assists shy of a triple double. He will try to go for back-to-back, -back, but more importantly, he gives them the two-point advantage. 28 seconds remaining. This is Chris Shanto setting the table now for the Wolf Warriors. He's got Liu here. Liu chooses to attack Chantachon. He's double-teamed. That is stripped by Singletary. Apiron Vilay Chai breaks away. Counted plus the foul. That looks like an unsportsmanlike foul. I saw the referee signaling an unsportsmanlike foul. So, if it's an unsportsmanlike foul, because it's a continuation play, one free throw plus the possession here coming for Mono Vampire. But let's see what the final call will be. So, Aperon Chai is actually summoned from the bench to keep Mike Taylor in check. Yeah. The coach Doug Marty is getting rewarded for his faith on this guy, Aperon Chai. He's given him 13 points. And what a game so far for Darong Pan, Aperon Chai. And easily one of his uh, best offensive games this season. This could be the game that he needs to get his rhythm back offensively. Single Terry. Five seconds to shoot, last shot time for Mono Vampire. Single Terry, close by the defense, puts it up, could not put it in. As time will expire here in the third quarter. And Sadelf, Wolf Warriors coming back after that fast start by Mono Vampire. But again, Mono Vampire proving uh, to be too powerful for the Wolf Warriors, able to get the five point lead at the end of the third. Well, you gotta be wary of Wolf Warriors, but I like what I saw from Mono Vampire. A local stepping up in Aperon Vilay Chai and he easing the load on Mike Singletary as well. But, you know, it, it is as this trend of this game has shown, you cannot count out Wolf Warriors in the fourth quarter. All right, exciting fourth quarter coming up right here in your ASEAN Basketball League season number nine. Yeah.
fourth quarter begins and we go back inside at GSB Stadium 29 here in Bangkok, Thailand. Beautiful Saturday afternoon for all of the ABL fans who are watching from different parts of the world. Mono Vampire up by 5, 78 to 73. And this is Martin Avier working alongside Sidel Tupas. And we begin the fourth quarter with the unsportsmanlike foul called against Romeo Travis. Well, it, it was a hit above the shoulder of Mike Taylor got hit on the face there oh right there that is the sportsman like foul yeah. clear call could be a big break here for the Wolf Warriors as they try to come back in this game well Travis is trying his best really to you know, get his teammates involved. Not really trying to disrupt what's been building on this Mono Vampire team. And I think, you know, I think Coach Doug Marty was really stressing that, you know, you, you, you should just play your game. Yeah, that's right. And, and not worry about anything else. And uh, so far, Romeo Travis, uh, he's one of the reasons why uh, Aperon Vilaychai has gotten his confidence back here especially in the offensive end. Yeah, because of the passes of Romeo Travis. But one of the things that he needs to adjust to here in uh, the start of his career in the ABL, of course, is those unsportsmanlike foul calls. And the calls in general here in the league as Fred DeLeash breaks away, drops it off to right for the finish. Crowd loving that. And Aperonvi Chai taking that ball away from Taylor and starting that break has been has been great today Aperon Vilaychai Taylor asking for a foul not getting it and you see a frustrated Mike Taylor walking down on the floor you see here the hustle from Aperon Vilaychai Freddy Leach dishing it to White in transition for the finish and this was the argument for Mike Taylor looking for the foul there as Apenon Chai goes under him. The foul here on the other end called against Mike Singletary trying to stop Mike Bell. Mike Bell there taking it strong to the rack. Mono Vampire with a seven point lead. It was as high as 13 earlier in the first half. Coach Matt Skillman and the rest of his crew have done a great job in staying within striking distance. And you feel the sense of urgency, Sidel, uh, from the Wolf Warriors in these past two games as they try to make that final push for the playoffs here in season number nine. No, not only that, you know, it, it, it's been a rough start. It's been a rough season for them. Yeah. And, and, and you know, when you get to this point, yes, Freddie Leash knocks down the three. When you get to this point of the season, you just want to build on, 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 on things that could probably help you next year. That is very true. This is a good feel out here for the Wolf Warriors, and that's going to be a foul against Mike Bell. Against uh, Malcolm White, rather. So four fouls on the big guy of Mono Vampire. Oh, it's a big development. And Chanta Chun needs to get back there. For Malcolm White, Coach Doug Marty cannot risk him. A great adjustment again from the Wolf Warriors going inside, mm -hmm. testing the defense of Malcolm White. And uh, Bell has already gotten two fouls off White <laughs> in this first minute of the fourth. Yes. And he gets him out of the game here with Romeo Travis playing the center position again for Coach Douglas. Chantacho at the four. And Mike Bell missing both free throws. Could not capitalize on the opportunities. Singletary will bring it down. They're up by eight. 83 to 75 with over a minute gone here in the fourth. They got Aperon Vilaychai here going cross court to Singletary. Mike. Navigating, oh, blocked by Mike Bell. Good deflection there by Bell. I thought that was poor spacing for Mono. Mike Singletary tried to attack, but there was no space for him. 
But look at Mike Taylor there, flying in for that rebound, but he could not make the shot. Mono Vampire, three on one, breaks Freddie Lee's all the way to the basket. The flamboyant point guard of Mono Vampire finishing in style. That gives Mono a 10 point lead. Lead is back to double digits here. With two minutes eclipsing in the fourth frame. Mike Bell getting the offensive rebound. Ball did not hit the rim, so shot clock did not reset. Here is Patterson. Floater does not drop soon. No good as well, but Patterson finally tips it in. Absolutely relentless. Patterson has missed a couple of close range shots. Sticking with it and getting the deuce with that putback. 12 points now for Shantas Patterson. They go to Romeo Travis. That's from the baseline. That's 10 points for Romeo Travis. About time, really, to pick up his offense. So a double-double to begin his career here in the ABL. 10 points, 12 boards. Make that 13 boards now for Travis. Also got nine assists in this one. And you gotta like Romeo Travis, the leadership on full display there. Yeah. Freddie Leash with the finish. You saw him. That's the value of a Romeo Travis there. He saw Peron Chai on that corner on the right side. He knew that Freddie Leash can take on his man off the dribble, play the two man game with Freddie Leash. And because Aperon Vilaychai is not there, his man is not there, yeah. Leash had a free lane for that layup. It's a 12 point lead for Mono Vampire. See here the numbers from Mike Singletary flirting with a triple double here 22 11 and 7 and more importantly a fast start here in the fourth quarter for Mono Vampire blistering 11 to 4 start and it actually started on the defensive end Sidov. it started when they tightened up the defense especially in the painted area limiting the easy shots for the Wolf Warriors and those uh, easy layups that they were getting earlier in the game well we saw Tess Patterson get a tip in yeah. earlier for the last basket of the Wolf Warriors but it took them three attempts yeah. to get that basket and that shows you how as uh, how life has been difficult for the Wolf Warriors especially in this fourth quarter, Peron Vilaychai is in the free throw line. I think they, there was a technical foul. As we went to a break. Yeah. So, these are two free throws taken by Aperon Vilaychai. And knocks in both there. We'll try to clarify the call here. But that will extend the lead to 14 points, 91 to 77. With... Almost three minutes gone in our final period. Well, this was a tight one at the end of thir uh, three periods, but now Mono has pulled away. Good another team great, game. Another great move. That was Romeo Travis finishing off the assist by Freddie Leash. Mike Taylor has been quiet in this fourth quarter. Goes for the left-handed lay-in. Not much Singletary can do there. Mike Taylor was skipping and hopping past Perón Vilaychai. Freddie Leash 
On the move, stop shoots and is able to score on the deuce. Well, that slight nudge giving giving Leash the separation he needed to get that shot off. 16 points now for Freddy Leash. What a game for Freddy Leash. Oh, denial there by Mike Singletary on Patterson. And Mono Vampire doing it on both ends of the floor. Let's uh, take that a look again. Let's give that a look again. Singletary with the denial on Patterson. But Patterson able to break away for that lay-in. Oh, just another layup there given up by uh, Mono Vampire. It's a good thing that they're still leading by 14. So here is Darung Panapin on Vilay Chai to Singletary. The corner shot is off. Rebound goes to Travis though. 14 rebounds in the ball game. Leash runs into trouble, goes middle. And Chanta Chon, that's gonna be three seconds in the key for Tirawat. Chanta Chon was moving without the basketball. The, unfortunately for him, wasn't able to move out of the lane. Yeah. Was able to relocate, but that wasn't enough. As he was already called for a, a three second violation. So earlier, Sadel, that sportsmanlike foul was called actually on Mike Taylor. Unclear on which play it was called on, but it was on him. That's why uh, Apiron Vilaychai took the two free throws and the possession awarded to Mono Vampire. This is single Terry uh, finding Terawat who hesitated on the first attempt but gets the basket anyway. Now that was a play they ran when Jason Brickman was still with his team as Sai Chen quickly silences the crowd <laughs> with that three ball. And There's just no quit in this Wolf Warriors team. He's not yet done. Sai Chen getting a lot of rest for the Wolf Warriors in the third quarter. Trying to make an impact here in the fourth. Ball will remain with Mono Vampire with 13 seconds to work with. Sai Chen earlier going back to the bench with a four personal fouls. He is back on the floor, halfway done here in our final quarter. Singletary now will work against Sean Taz Patterson. Mike Singletary attacking the defense. Singletary off to the side. And Patterson chooses Zong underneath. Oh, misses the shot inside. But Mike Bell working hard. But again, an empty trip for the Wolf Warriors. And Singletary, oh, missing the dunk. Wow. Sorry, missed there for Singletary. And that would have been the triple double as well right. for Romeo Travis. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to hear it from Travis after this game. That would have been a breakaway dunk for Mike Singletary. Yeah, it would have, would have been wiser if he just laid it in. And not getting enough lift there. It was uh, Mike Singletary. And Mike Taylor bumping into Aperon Vilay Chai, who was called for the personal. Aperon Vilay Chai, heavy minutes for him in this ball game. Showing his value for this team, Sidel. Absolutely. Uh, showing a revitalized form for Mono Vampire here. Mike Bell missing on the shot there. Difficult attempt. As he was going sideways, and it will go out of bounds. Mono Vampire will have possession. In that time, Mono Vampire badly needed a defensive stop. And uh, Singletary bothering Patterson, who's uh, forced into that out of bounds. So a 13 point advantage. A comfortable cushion to work with for Mono Vampire here. Oh, but an offensive foul called. Right, a clear offensive foul on Freddie Leash. It's certainly acknowledging the, to the bench. And the thing here about Mono Vampire, because of the depth that they have, mm -hmm. because of the talent that they have right now, they can't afford an off night right. from uh, someone like Tyler Lamb. That's right. Because other guys, you know, are able to pick up the scoring, pick up the slack. Lamb, of course, marred with that foul trouble early in the game. Four personals on him. And he is on the bench right now with six points. Rongbilai Chai has been a 
pretty solid in this ball game on both ends. And he is tasked to guard, has a difficult task of guarding Mike Taylor in this basketball game. He's also done a great job in preserving his fouls. That's right. 34 points now in the ball game for Mike Taylor. And he cuts the lead down to 12 points. Basing it from the last game, Sudolf. A 12 point advantage with under four minutes remaining. No lead is safe when these two teams face each other. And absolutely, both teams can get hot in a hurry. And we've seen that with Taylor. <laughs> we can knock down uh, three three pointers in quick succession. That's right. But uh, Mono Vampire trying to protect this 11 point lead. To the ball game here, it is an 11 point advantage for the home squad. Mono Vampire, you see the three point field goals here. Definitely a weapon for the Wolf Warriors, but the reason how uh, or why Mono Vampire has he been able to negate that three point shooting, 50% three point shooting for the Wolf Warriors, is because of their activity in the painted area, leading it in the rebounding category, and of course, taking advantage of the scoring in the paint. 51 points in the paint, I think, I believe, for uh, Mono Vampire and 31 assists at that. So, now 58 points in the paint compared mm -hmm. to 42 for the Wolf Warriors. 31 assists out of the 38 field goals made by Mono Vampire, showing the un uh, unselfishness here at home as Freddie Leash. That's another assist and field goal for Mono Vampire. And they've reached the 100 point mark. Mono Vampire. And Aperol Villachai. He's been terrific tonight. Stripping that ball away from Mike Taylor. He's just got eyes on the ball. Right. Doesn't really read the movement of the body of, his, uh, of the player he's defending, but in terms of uh, you know, keeping a close eye on the ball and, and the hands, mm -hmm. it's there. Exceptional defender is uh, Darumpan Apiron Vilaychai. Breakout game of the season for him, 15 points. And keeping an eye closely on Mike Taylor. He's also got three takeaways in this game. A couple of those against uh, Taylor. Yeah. So 100 to 86. Single Terry with possession here, guarded by Liu. A much taller Liu on him. Singletary on navigating his way to the basket. Mike Singletary there. Another strong move inside. A commanding 16 point lead for Mono Vampire. Looking to take their third win off the season, but Sai Chen is not giving up. Sai Chen had a double double the last time out. And you're trying to keep Wolf Warriors alive in this ballgame. 13 points for uh, Tsai Chen tonight, and they forced to foul Mike Singletary there. It's gonna be on Mike Bell. Well, because the ball movement has been terrific for Mono Vampire in this ball game, I think that has preserved the energy yeah. of Mike Singletary down the stretch here, where he can take over the offense of Mono Vampire. 14 point advantage for the home team. They're looking to hold on for this victory.
Two minutes, 21 seconds remaining here in this ball game. Malcolm White here, 21 points, eight rebounds for Mono Vampire. Another day in the office for uh, Malcolm White. Well, he's been a constant problem for the Wolf Warriors. And it's great to have uh, someone like Malcolm White, if you're, if you're the Mono Vampire, is someone you can turn to and, and find when you're, you get trapped inside the paint. There is a foul. I think that's going to be on Mike Taylor. Oh no, that's uh, against Zong. So the Wolf Warriors committing the personal foul there. Sideline inbound here for Mono Vampire. Again, 14 point advantage. Trying to go up to 3 and 12. And again, start their late, uh, late push for the playoffs here in season number 9. Not too late yet for Mono Vampire. Mm -hmm. This is very doable for them, especially with this kind of lineup on the floor. But a good uh, start to the new era for I, Mono I, Vampire. I here. think that they've found a, 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 a great combination here of, of players, of imports. And Tyler Lamb returns to the ball game. And uh, Chanta, Chanta Chon gets an applause from the crowd. But mm. this is a great combination white single Terry Travis you got you got a, a single Terry who can score can distribute white and inside presses and uh, Travis you can do it all yeah. and you still got Tyler Lamb here scoring on the step back J there eight points for Tyler Lamb a non-factor but again the other guys picking it up for Mono Vampire Sean Des Patterson Hitting the front of the rim, and last touch against Mono. A shot clock reset here for the Wolf Warriors. I think Freddie Leash has done a, a fantastic job running the show for Mono Vampire. Not, probably will not finish the game as the highest, with the most assists, but the way he's been able to distribute the game, a lot of hockey assists for, for Freddie Leash. And Leash has also provided that stability. We saw the panic, a little bit of panic earlier uh, for Mono. Allowed the Wolf Warriors to come back in the ball game when Freddie Leash was on the bench. So that's his value for, uh, for, for this team from this point forward. There's a tendency really to go move into some isolation plays, a lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball when, when, when Leash is not on the floor. The coach Doug Marty stopping the bleeding at uh, such an important time in that second period. And I, I think I don't think we're gonna see Romeo Travis back in as, in this ball game. So he's not gonna reach the triple double for his first game back, but an, an impressive debut in the ABL for Romeo Travis. 12 points, 15 rebounds, and nine assists. Ain't too shabby for uh, Romeo Travis. Loose ball here picked up by Apeno Chai and the exclamation point from Malcolm White. And that punctuates this terrific performance from Mono Vampire. And the heave here for Mike Taylor. Mike Singletary committing the personal foul. And Sidilf, this is a dangerous Mono Vampire team. Teams will have to watch out for. Well, this is only the start. With with more games, I think they're gonna get better. Yeah. That's a scary prospect every time you play this team. And uh, at the rate things are going, if they if they do make that playoff push and may snatch that eighth spot. Yeah. And we could be in for some, uh, and if the uh, if the trend continues, that you know, Alab goes in. Ooh, that's gonna be an interesting matchup. Last year's finalists will face uh, in our quarterfinals. But, but we can't get ahead of ourselves ahead of here. Okay. <laughs> that's if, but th that's uh, just you know the <laughs> fantasy yeah. of, of of thinking about that prospect. That's if the you playoffs know. started today. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you know. I would get a ticket for that one. <laughs> Mike Taylor 
Another spectacular outing for him, 35 points. I got 36 to follow up that 39-point performance last Wednesday. Oh, he was great last Wednesday. I think Aperon Chai did a great job on him in the second half with the way he was able to negate his scoring. Mm -hmm. I think facilitating was... Uh, uh, Mike Taylor was, did, did a great job because there was a lot of a lot of uh, straight line drives for his teammates. But in terms of getting the scoring in, yeah. it's been amazing. And he just needs that consistent uh, help from his teammates. And Tyler Dan falling down here, late foul called against Zong. 46.6 seconds remaining, and with this impending win for Mono Vampire. They're gonna climb up to three and 12. Snap their losing streak. Warriors, or Wolf Warriors rather, going down to two and 15. That's gonna be a tough position, tough hole uh, to get over if you're the Wolf Warriors. But you gotta remember that they were in this ball game for three periods. And they even took the lead in the third. As uh, Tyler Lamb, for all his struggles with his fouls, might reach double digits as uh, the crowd are enjoying this impending win of the Mono Vampire. Good home win for Mono Vampire here. Not just a good home win, but a badly needed home <laughs> win. That's right. This will be their second one, I believe. First one being against the Formosa Dreamers, also here at home. And that was a long time ago. That's like quite a while back. Mo yeah, more more than a month ago. Yeah. And they last tasted a victory here at home. So Freddie Leach will dribble this one out. And melt the clock here. White taking it out here. Aperon Villay firing and scoring and adding to his total in this match. Really had no choice but to take that shot. But because of the confidence that he showed <laughs> throughout this ball game. It's just a great performance, Aperon Vilaychai. He was the X-Factor today in this ball game. You expected the same numbers from Singletary, from Malcolm White, and of course, Romeo Travis. Yeah. Still feeling his way back in, but Aperon Vilaychai was, uh, you know, the silent killer for Mono Vampire. And that makes it official. It is a victory for Mono Vampire. They successfully avenged their loss last Wednesday against the Wolf Warriors. Final score here, 113 to 92. And you actually explained it very well. Darong Pan Aperon Vilaychai providing the much needed help from the local players, local bunch of this Mono Vampire team breaking out of his slump. 18 points scored in the ball, ball game. And a game changer, especially on the defense he's shown against uh, Mike Taylor of the Wolf Warriors. Great stuff here from uh, Mono Vampire coach Doug Marty looking to stop the bleeding for his team. Acquired this man, Romeo Travis, almost nailed a triple double in his debut. And the possibilities are just so exciting for this Mono Vampire team as they push forward this season. A new era has started for Mono Vampire here, and they begin it with a victory here at home. Again, final score, 113 to 92. A win by Mono Vampire against the Wolf Warriors. Now that's it for a coverage here on behalf of our broadcast team here in GSB Stadium 29. My partner, Sidelf Tupas. This is Martin Aviar saying thank you for tuning in and see you guys next time for another coverage of the SCN Basketball League season number nine, Rise to Greatness.